reclaim parts of yourself that you have overlooked or forgotten about. There are many different parts of the human psyche. There are many different faces that make up who we are. When you leave your home, you are different people to the different individuals you meet. You are somebody's brother or sister. Then you are somebody's boss or somebody's employee or somebody's contractor. On and on it goes. We're different people to the people we find ourselves in different situations. We may be in the same place, but at different times. We're different people, or we are different people at the same time, but at different places. In other words, we're different people in terms of time and space. What happens to these identities? It's as if you're wearing all these different masks with different angles on them. How do you reconcile all of this? Unfortunately, as I've mentioned, we live in a world of specialization. So, we're forced to slice and dice and pick and choose. This does a big disservice to just the rich tapestry of all identities and capabilities. There is power in wholeness. When you choose to live with full integrity, this means you reconnect with everything that defines you. In other words, integrity means you connect the potential with what is manifesting. You reconcile what you desire with what you are producing. This requires introspection and a whole lot of honesty. This means you reconnect with everything that defines you. There's the physical you, the biochemical you, the emotional you, the spiritual you, the psychological you, the cultural you, the relational you. I can go on and on. Unfortunately, a lot of us just focus on one thing and one thing alone. In fact, there's a lot of us who define ourselves as one-dimensional human beings. If you need proof of this, go to a party and talk to people and the first thing out of most people's mouths is what they do for a living. They would say, hi, my name is Jerry, I'm an attorney. Or, hello, my name is Mindy, I'm a doctor at the nearby hospital. Or, my name is Albert and I work for Microsoft. People tend to define themselves in a one-dimensional way. We always try to connect with some larger phenomena that somehow casts a shadow on our identity. For example, when somebody introduces himself or herself as working for Facebook, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Facebook has a brand, and there's a value judgment there that's very different from somebody stepping up to you and saying, Hey, my name is Joe. I'm an executive at Starbucks. In the case of Joe, there are two things going on. When he says he's an executive, that brings to mind certain ideas. And when they say Starbucks, that also brings a whole other set of issues. Unfortunately, a lot of us are just focused on one thing. We become one-dimensional. It's as if we're walking cartoons. And the worst part to all of this is we don't even realize it. If we're lucky, we get up to two or even three of these factors in terms of us defining ourselves. That doesn't even come close. By restricting ourselves to the kind of identity we have, we let go of a lot of our connections to the rest of the natural world. This is why we suffer. This is why we feel incomplete. This is why we feel so susceptible to stress, to changing to situations and to the vagaries of life. This is why we struggle. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.